Hi friends, join me in making four super cute basic amigurumi shapes. Sphere, cube, cone and cylinder. This week we will be crocheting the sphere aka ball. It doesn't matter if you are new or a crochet expert. Let's have fun and make them with me. These are the materials you will need. Any yarn and hook of your choice. I'm going with a blue DK yarn and 3mm crochet hook. Stitch marker. Stitch counter if you have one. Yarn needle. Scissor. Some fillings of your choice. You can use scraps of light blue yarn and dark brown or black yarn for the face embroidery. To start, we begin by creating a magic ring. I'm going to pop my magic ring video on the top right hand corner here. The video shows this technique in slow motion if you need help on creating magic ring. Round 1 6 single crochet in the magic ring. I've been racking my brains, thinking hard to come up with fun and easy crochet amigurumi projects. Something to practice and improve my crocheting skills. And I thought creating basic shapes would be perfect. Each shape will have their own cute facial expressions to reflect its personality. Tighten the magic ring here by pulling the end tail so we can identify our first stitch. We are now going to start increasing to make the round shape. Do invisible increases 6 times. We will end up with 12 stitches at the end of the round. To do invisible increase, we will be working on the front loop only and then both loop to do the increase. I have linked my step-by-step -step invisible increase tutorial on the top right hand corner if you need more help. I realize that it might be hard to see what I'm doing as I'm using small hook and yarn in this video. That's why I'm linking separate step-by-step -step tutorials. Don't forget to use a stitch marker and mark the first stitch of the round. We've just completed the first invisible increase. Five more to go. If you are just starting with crocheting amigurumi, I hope you will enjoy making these cuties with me. I'll be creating four separate tutorials each week for each of the shapes. Please like and share the video to help the channel to grow. Thank you friends. That's the last invisible increase stitch of round 2 done. To do round 3, we are going to work on the first stitch of round 3 by joining it to our first stitch of round 2, as marked by the stitch marker. Begin by doing one invisible increase. We can now take off the stitch marker that was marking the first stitch of round 2 and move that to our new first stitch in round 3. Next, we'll be doing one single crochet. We'll be repeating this pattern 5 more times. So first invisible increase and then follow with single crochet five more times. Round 4, single crochet, invisible increase,
and single crochet. Repeat this pattern six times. Don't forget to use a stitch marker and mark the first stitch of the round. I actually forgot to mark mine, so let me go back and do that now. Round 5, invisible increase, 3 single crochet and repeat this 6 times. We will end up with 30 stitches. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. This is where we can use our stitch counter. In round 6 to round 10, we will be doing 30 single crochet, so that will be total of 30 stitches each round. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. Now we stop increasing and starting to work on the sphere shape. We reached the end of round 10 now. For round 11, we'll be doing invisible decrease, then 3 single crochet. We will be repeating this pattern 6 times in total. To do invisible decrease, insert your hook on the next stitch front loop only. Then insert your hook on the next stitch of the front loop only again. Yarn over, pull through the first two stitches, then yarn over and pull through the remaining stitches. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. I'm going to link a slow motion tutorial on how to do the invisible decrease here. If you need to see more in-depth tutorial on how to do the invisible decrease, click here on the top right hand corner. Round 12 Single crochet Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round Then invisible decrease then single crochet again. Repeat this pattern for 6 times in total. We will have 18 stitches at the end of the round. Round 13 Invisible decrease, then single crochet. 
Repeat this pattern 6 times in total. We will end up with 12 stitches at the end of the round. Round 14, 6 invisible decrease. We will have 6 stitches at the end of the round. This is our last round. Pull yarn through and leave enough tail for seaming the hole. Now let's close up our magic ring nicely first. Weave through the top stitch only. And then put the needle through the beginning hole. Pull slightly and the hole will close seamlessly, leaving the thread inside. Start stuffing with fiber fill. I'm actually going to use my leftover yarn as stuffings as well. Now weave through the front loop stitch only again. Then pull gently. Put the needle through the middle hole to finish. Find an exit point anywhere a bit further. Put the needle through the stitch next to it to secure this further. Repeat this a couple of times. Cut the yarn. You can use the back of the needle to tidy up and push back any feelings that might have shown through. For the bowl, I'm going with this smiling eyes and just a simple one curved smiling mouth. I'm using the stitch markers to help with the position and location of the eyes. We are securing 4 stitches for each eye, leaving 3 stitches gap for the mouth distance. As you can see, the top eye corner sits slightly higher than the inner point of the eye. We are going to start from the top right hand corner of the eye. Remember to go down one row when inserting the needle through the middle eye area. Embroidering the face is optional as always. I'll be creating an in-depth tutorial on the face embroidery later on once I finish with all the remaining shapes video. I'll be linking it on the top right hand corner here when they are ready. And similarly, we're gonna go down one row again when inserting the needle through the bottom corner of the right eye. This will create a long sideways V shape. We're going to repeat this for the left eye now. But this time we're going to start from the inner corner of the left eye. From the inner corner to the top left corner. Back 
to the middle inner corner. Then lastly, to the bottom left corner. We are moving on to do the mouth now. Starting from the top left hand corner of the mouth, Then moving on to the top right hand corner of the mouth, insert the needle down the center of both corners of the mouth. Now carefully, don't pull the thread all the way through. You want to make sure that this live thread sits above. like this now gently pull the thread until the mouth shape to a curved smile from here to finish off we want to insert the needle back through that exact same hole but we want to do it from the bottom of the live thread this way it will lock that smile curve shape in position now as for the needle exit point we want to exit at the exact same hole of the top right hand corner of the eye. This is the exact same hole where we first insert our needle when we start doing the left corner of the eye. Tie a couple of knots. Then insert the needle through the exact same hole. Exit the needle at any point. For the finishing touch, we are going to embroider the cheeks using light blue yarn. Tie a couple of knots. And cut through the remaining yarn. As always, Take care and I hope to see you in my next video.